Hi there, so let me go through the installations of the following applications. Now, so we're going to install a virtual machine in Windows, okay, using VMware Workstation and the operating system that we're going to use is OpenSUSE. And then inside OpenSUSE, the Linux installation, we're going to install some other applications. That is, we're going to install OpenFone. So let's go through all these steps. So the most important thing now is just to get the, the application. So as you go to this link, you can download OpenSUSE. Okay, so here you have OpenSUSE 15.2. Okay, so you just click there and you download the image. Okay, so get this one, the DVD image. Okay, then we need VMware, which is free for personal use. So here you get the link. So in the video description, you will find all the links, but download this one, 16.0, okay? And then later inside that virtual machine, we're going to install OpenFun. So we're going to, the first, I'm going to show you how to install the official release or the, then I'm going to show you how to install the new release 2006 from, from ESI. So here we're going to go to download and attention. We're going to install from scratch. Okay. So go source here and in source, we're going to follow these instructions. Okay. So you have it there. So the first step is that after you install VMware Workstation, just launch. Okay, after you open VMware Station, so see here that I already, uh, already have one virtual machine here. So this is the one I'm using. This is my personal one, so I have many stuff installed here. But see here that you, you press here, you can edit the, ses the settings. So see that you can allocate the memory, the number of processors, so you can change these parameters always okay at any time. Okay, so they are not fixed. They are not written in stone. So you can change that at any time. Uh, so let me go back and let's create the, the, the virtual machine. Okay, to create the virtual machine, uh, go here, player file, new virtual machine. You need to say where is that image located. We have it here. See that open that image. Okay, there. Okay, uh, open source is telling you, not a problem. Oh, give me a minute. Okay, okay, there. Then give it a name. I will call it Open Suse 15.2 uh, 50 GB. Okay, because I'm going to give you this one with 50 gigabytes. Okay, so you go next. You allocate here the space. So remember that you can change this space later at any point. But the problem is that, for instance, you if you choose now. Uh, if you show that now 50 GB and then you want to change it to 100, you have the options and you can change it to 100, but then in Linux, you need to do the repartition. And that might be a little bit tricky in Linux, okay? It requires some mounting and stuff like that and maybe doing some backup. So it's not recommended to take that, that role. It can be done, okay? But it's better to think what you want to do, how much space that you you have available. So allocate everything right now. So I would create this one with 50 GB, okay? Uh, here you can choose the, the the how you want that image so if you want to split it or in one single file i like to use this action supposedly one of these is faster than the other i don't know which one okay what i would choose single file okay uh here you can customize your hardware remember you can change this at any time but for instance you can go here and right away i would put 12 there okay sorry uh 12 4 here then let me go here and accelerate this is okay okay i have enough memory so also choose this memory so when you are happy with those options you press finish and it will start to to load the the image or to load the dvd let's say this is a normal installation of our operating system press there and then also here click in the screen and now move the arrow up, up and down choose installation okay and you start to load the kernel and everything to install the software. You might realize that here you don't have control on the mouse. You are losing your mouse within this window. To regain control, press Control Al. Okay, and now you have your mouse. So this happens at the beginning because there are some utilities missing just for the Windows Linux integration. Don't worry, this will be installed automatically later. Okay, so see that you lose your mouse, now regain control. Okay, so at this point we need to wait a little bit, okay, for loading everything and then we go to the next steps.
Okay, after waiting a little bit, we start with just these uh, steps to install everything. So this is the license agreement. Just press next. So remember, this is free, open source. So now we'll ask. It will detect some software. Then if you want to add some online repositories, so if you have internet access, just press yes. If you don't have no, or probably won't ask you. But in any case, press yes there. Here also press install tools. So it's already asking you just to install tools. Okay. Now here press next. Okay. So just to load everything. So it will start just to change some some configuration inside the installation. Okay, it's adding these online repositories. Okay, at this point, we have the option to choose the graphical user interface, the, the X Windows integration. So here you have many options. I recommend you just to go with this one. The stuck with KDE. This is the one I, I use, but you have different choices there. And later you can add more if you want the other ones. So at this point, you can go and this is just the partition of your hard drive, the, the virtual machine hard drive. You are not touching whatever you have in your Windows. Just this is what you are allocating for, for the installation. So you can choose the default option, which most of the time are OK. So if you press next, you will go to the installation. But before doing that one, let me show you that maybe you will like to change something. So for instance, you would like to change the, the partition and setup. So if you want to change this 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 swap memory in this case you would need to change the partition so probably here since it start to get a little bit advanced but if you want to do it let me show you so starting from this partition set, uh, proposal you go here expert partitioner start with current proposal and here you can change whatever you want so for instance i want to increase this one and to increase this one i need to reduce this one so let me go here resize and let me reduce the size. So I go here, I will put 45 there, gigs. And now this one, I want to resize increase. But you see, you see here, you resize, you cannot increase, okay? So what you need to do, so you can reduce, but you cannot increase. Delete that one, and now you go partitions, add a new one. So you see that now you have the maximum. You are okay with those app values. What you want to put there, you want to put there the swap partition. Okay, then you should, the file system is the swap, and then the mount point is the swap. This is the default, it's okay, but you can put it somewhere else you want. And see that now you have the new partition and setup. Okay, so we're ready to go. If you are happy with this, if you want to change, so usually you, you, you just change these two. This one you didn't change, okay, or oh, probably this one. So go, you accept this, okay. And we're happy, we're cool with this. Next. And now the next will be some other configuration, regional, time zone, whatever. So it will start to access this. So in this case, let me go. I need Italy. So next. Then choose your user. So you can create the user. So in this virtual machine, the user will be CFD user. The password CFD1234. CFD1234. So when you log in, it will ask you the name of the user and then the password. Attention that this password is the same as the administrator, the root password. Okay, sometimes to install some applications, you need to be the root. This is the same password. Okay, you can also choose to do automatic login with this user. In this case, I will disable. So every time you log in, you need to give your credentials. So you have it there. In any case, I will give you the, this information. When you are happy with this, next. Okay, so it will ask you that, okay, this power, pa password is too trivial, just put yes. This one, you can take this option. So here's just the software that you are installing, whatever. Okay, so we're happy with this. Where, if you want to change something, just click there, you know, you have there, but it's okay. Take the default values. Okay, so ba -ba -ba -ba, it's now complete. Okay, install, and we're ready to go. So let's see what happens now. So now it will start to install the software. Okay, so it's reading, so it's telling this one, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, just put this one and retry, okay, retry. In my case, it was given that problem, I know what was related, so 
just select the two retry and you're ready to go and now it's installing everything okay at this point i think let's wait a little bit this might take a while okay well because it's just installing applications then after it's done it will reboot okay so let's wait and see you later Okay, after installation is over, you saw that it reboot automatically, everything was done automatically, I didn't do anything. So at this point, we're ready to log in for the first time. So remember the password CFD1234, and it will do the first login. Sometimes strange things will happen the first time that login doesn't matter. Okay, let's, let's see what happens. So see that we're inside. It's open to see 15.2 World Station 16 there, so you can maximize there. So everything so far you have full integration of your system. So I think at this point we're done. So let's say that for instance, let me open Firefox. So we should have also internet connection. Okay, with no problem. So it was enabled. So see that it's connecting to the website, and you can copy and paste files between operating system okay so for instance is your you open there let me let's say copy a file i don't know this one okay i go here and you just go here and paste one file and it's pasting and you can do the same from linux to windows okay so you have your full integration enabled so at this point i think we are done with the linux installation now we move to installing the other applications i will show you open phone and maybe also for dakota so at this point you are done here you can do some configuration as well just to change how everything looks like i leave it up to you i will do some default here and then you will get my default in, in the installation that you will be uh, able to download okay so uh, i will close it thank you for your attention and see you in the in the next video we will show you the open phone details i'll also will show you how to move the image okay because we have this physical image i will show you the location and how to move so thank you and see you next video bye